are you? There? Are we connected? God, that's a beautiful sound effect. Excellent. Truly excellent. Now, we may begin. First, you must create a vessel. Ooh. Select the head of the per. Select the head that you prefer. Okay, so first things first. I'm fairly new to the Undertale san fandom, but I have actually watched um, several different playthroughs of it, so I somewhat know what I'm getting into. Plus, I plan on playing Undertale on my own in my spare time. You know, like, after recording a shitload of videos of this and other things that I have planned to put up on the channel. Um... Oh, shit. Okay, now I can do that. I don't want to go with the Gaster-esque face. That also looks kind of like a leaf, but... I'll go with this one. This one looks like an interesting enough head. I mean, this one does too, but I'm not entirely sure what that one entails. Like, if the hair is like all the way like that, like a beard or something. So I'm gonna go with this head that looks like somebody's just spilled paint over them. Select the torso that you prefer. Oh wow, we're designing our own sprite! Nice! You know what? I'll do that one. Select my legs. I don't really see much of a difference in the legs, to be honest. This is your body. Yes, it is. Do you accept it? Yes. Excellent. You have created a wonderful form. Thank you. That means a lot. Now let us shape its mind as your own. Oh, God. What is its favorite food? Oh, this is going to be interesting. So we can create our own characters like personality? I love sweets, probably a little too much. Uh, soft food is good food. Pain? That's an interesting food source. No, I'm one of those people that actually likes sour food. What is your favorite blood type? Are we a vampire? I'll go with what my blood type is. Give me a second. Got it in my wallet. And it's a type that I cannot select. So I'll go with A. What color does it like most? I like blue. Please give it a gift. I'm giving it a voice. How do you feel about your creation? It will not hear. I don't like the fact that it's telling me it will not hear. I love my creation. Have you answered honestly? Yes. You have acknowledged the possibility of pain and seizure. Yes. Name your vessel. You know what? I'm gonna go with my generic 
uh, RPG name for characters I can create. I don't know why, I just really like the name Axel. Might be due to Kingdom Hearts, might not. We called it Axel. What about the creator? It's asking your own name? Okay. You know what? I don't really care. My username is very close to my real name anyway, so fuck it. Excellent. Truly excellent. Thank you for your time. Your answers, your wonderful creation, will now be discarded. No one can choose who they are in this world. Your name is... Chris! Hi, Toriel. It's been a while. Chris, if you do not wake up, we will be late for school. I will wait outside for you, alright? Okay, so creating the avatar, I'm assuming that we're going to actually be in the game as our avatar character. Beautiful day outside. Drawer is mostly empty except for a school cross county country shirt with a tear in it. There are CDs under the bed. Classical, jazz, religious, ska. There's also a game console. It has one normal controller. And knockoff one. There's nothing useful in the drawer. Okay. It's a computer desk. There are many boxes under it filled with old books. It's a red dragon with a rusty birdcage in it. Looks like it's seen quite a few crashes. Okay, where are you, Toriel? If I'm gonna be late for school, I don't want to be late. I'll do more exploring. Chris, there you are. We might still be able to make it. It's a beautiful day today, is it not? Hope it stays this way when Azrael visits next week. But I wonder, after the excitement of university, will he still enjoy coming home to this little town? I'm getting this weird anime-esque vibe. Oh, hi Undyne! Personally, one of my favorite characters in Undertale, period. Oh, hi, Elphys! So, does everyone have a... Oh, oh, Chris, we thought you weren't coming today. We're doing group projects this month, uh, so walk around and find a partner, okay? Hmm. Chris, you know Jockington and Caddy are always partners. We're the ultimate cat academic duo ever since our first gym class. It was a hula hoop day. They ran out of hoops for us, so she used me instead. That's our origin story. Yeah, I could see the use for that. Click, click. Tap, tap. Taken. Hey Chris, what's up? Did you lose your pencil again? Here, you want the candy cane one or the one with lights on it? Huh? You want to be partners? Um, sorry. Bird Lee already asked me. But I could ask Mrs. Alf. Southwest, if we could make it a group of three, I'll ask if you're not sure. Not yet. Yeah, I'm sure there's someone else you can ask. Yeah, that's...
probably Birdly. Uh, 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 I actually want to get an A. Fuck you, asshole. I hope she kills you. Crisp! A lot of the fairy stars. Tim already have partner. No, Tim! Yo, Chris, show up earlier next time. I ended up having the partner with Snowy, ha. Huh? Now he keeps turning me and saying howdy, partner, like a cowboy. Okay, Alphys, I get it. I'm gonna go talk to you. What? What am I watching on my phone? It's schoolwork, of course. Uh, animated schoolwork, and... Hey, Chris, have you chosen a partner yet? Nope. Well, I know the thing I need to do. Yes. Okay, I'll ask. Miss Alphys, um, is it okay if we have a group of three? Hey, what? No, I do not approve of this. Support. What? But Chris doesn't have a... No, what were you saying? She was just saying we're fine being alone. Noel, can you please speak up? Oh, thank God. Uh, hi, Susie. Why did you kick the door in? Am I late? Uh, no, no you're fine. We we were just uh choosing partners for the next group project, and um, Susie, you're with Chris. Great. Hey, Alphys, I don't have a partner, asshole. Uh, has anyone seen the chalk? This is the third time it's gone missing, and... Y'all know I can't start class without some. Tim, do you have the chalk? How about this? If no one speaks up, everyone gets in trouble. Uh, at least she's trying. A anyone? B please? Hey, there might be a supply box. A box in the supply closet. Miss Alphys, why don't Susie and I... Good, good idea, Noel. S Susie, since you came in last, why don't you go and get it for me? <laughs> Whatever. And C Chris, can you go with her and make sure she uh, actually gets it and um, stays out of trouble? Thanks, Chris. See you later. I'm... Typical RPG. First quest, fetch quest. I think she just ate the chalk. Chris, didn't see you there. Hey, you didn't see anything just now, did you? Am I gonna get a prompt to say no? Hmm. You can't even say? Chris. Hey. Let me tell you a secret. Quiet people piss me off. Yay! You think just because you don't say anything, I can't tell exactly what you're thinking? It's over. I caught Susie eating all the chalk. This was her last chance. Now she'll finally be expelled. <laughs> Come on, Chris. Don't act shocked. You know it's true. Everyone's waiting for it. Everyone wants it. So congrats, Chris. You got me. I'm done for. Just let me say one little thing. Seems like a waste to get expelled just for having a snack. So, Chris, if I know you're gonna pull the trigger... <laughs> Why don't I just get expelled for some real carnage? Chris, how do you feel? About losing your face. <laughs> no. Chris, you've got a good mother. 
It would be a shame to make her bury her child. Alright, let's get this over with. We'll get more chalk. Mosey back to Chris. Class, then Chris. You'll do our project. How's that sound? It didn't. You, it gave me the prompts to answer, and then didn't give me the option. Awesome. Don't bother, Ant. If you haven't gotten it by now, your choices don't matter. Let's go, freak. God, can you walk any slower or what? Nah, I get it. Not used to walking around with someone holding your hand. Come on, freak. Or without someone holding your hand. Well, here's the closet. Too bad. We were just starting to have fun. That's ominous. Hey, Chris, is it me or is it really dark in there? What's the holdup, Chris? Are you gonna go in, or what? Fine, if you're gonna be a wimp, then I'll... We'll both go in at the same time. See? Why are you so scared? There's nothing in here but old papers. Let's try and find a light switch. That's weird. I can't find a switch. Guess it's further in. At this point, I think this is a trap, and I don't trust you at all. Uh, kind of big for a closet, huh? You'd think we'd have reached the end by now. Hey, Chris. I think this closet's, uh, broken. There aren't any walls. Well, we've worked hard enough. If Alphys wants chalk so bad, she can get it herself. Let's play. Yeah, I expected that. What? what the? Hey, this isn't funny. Let us out. Let us... Oh no, the papers are shaking. The floor, it's... Falling in? Yep. And back to Monster World we go? Or Human World this time. That'd be a neat little twist. You start off in the Monster World and you go to Human World and you're trying to get your way back. Are we gonna play as Susie now? No. Still looks like Chris. But she looks dead. I'm going to assume that's the save spot. See, at times you see it flickering. The light only you can see. By second nature, you reach out and save. Didn't say anything about filling me with determination this time, so... I also like that little neat <coughs> footstep sound effect. It actually gives it, like, real... Like, that sort of tone of, like, realism. Oh, that's cool. And as we pass by, that ignites again and again. Cool, is Azrael gonna pop out and scare the shit out of me, or at least try to kill me again? Oh, that was cool. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, yay, there's something in that inky puddle. Something glowing inside. Take it? Yes. You got the glow shard. Neat. 
whatever that is, is either sleeping. He's either sleeping or waiting for somebody to appear. Why is that one red? Oh! Oh, that's neat. Fuck you. Fuck you. At least I got decent HP this time instead of HP of one. You bathe your body in the light. A power shines within you, breaking through the darkness. The pain you had melted away. I puzzle. Interesting. In this land, only eyes blinded by darkness can see the way. Okay. That was an easy puzzle, but I know this is still the tutorial, so it's not going to be too hard. Okay, I seen something pop. What the hell is that? Can't move around that, okay. So, can I climb? Okay, it's not letting me use that. I've got a wooden blade. Cool. Why do I have a wooden blade? Oh, okay. I'm an idiot, but awesome. <laughs> hey, back off. Come any closer and I'll... Chris? Phew. Hey, don't scare me like that, dumbass. Unless you want to get clocked in the face. <laughs> anyway, enough screwing around. We gotta find a way out of here. You're right. Um, where is here anyway? Doesn't matter. You got us into this mess, and you get us out. You were the one in, in front of me, so you were the leader that got us in this mess. I'm the one going to get us out. Oh my god, never mind, you walk way too slow. Yeah, I didn't know I could sprint either. Hey, Chris, there's someone up there waving at us. Any idea what they want? Run! Okay, this is... This is a Kingdom Hearts boss battle. Chris, down here. Oh, that was not fair. I do like this, uh, new combat thing, though. That's kind of cool. Oh, you're not dead. Sweet. 
Got any idea what the heck this place is? Me neither. Wonder if there's anyone in that building up there. Well, I'm gonna do this. In front of you, a castle looms beneath the empty town. A black geyser emerges from it, piercing endlessly into the sky. The power of this place shines within you. Save, Castletown. I'm gonna try and see if I can go in any of these places. Looks like a shop, but the door's locked and no one's inside. Yep, thought so. What about the question mark? Locked. Okay, I'm just gonna assume that the other two are locked, and then I'm going ahead up into the castle. A castle? Why the hell is there a castle inside a supply closet? Welcome, heroes. Who's there? Do not be alarmed. I'm not your enemy. Calm down. Please come forward. Both of you. Welcome. I am the prince of this kingdom. The kingdom of darkness! Chris, Susie, there is a legend in this land. How do you know our names? A legend that one day two heroes of light will arrive and fulfill the ancient prophecy foretold by time and space. Please, heroes, listen to my tale. Very well. They're gonna make our character we designed to turn into a villain. Into a villain. The Delta Ruin. For millennia, light and dark have lived in balance for bringing peace to the world. But if this harmony were to shatter, a terrible calamity would occur. The sky would ruin, run black with terror. And the land will crack with fear. Then her heart pounding. The earth will draw her final breath. Only then, shining with hope. Three heroes appear at the world's edge. A human. A monster. And a prince from the dark. Only they can seal the fountains and banish the angels' heaven. Only then will balance be restored and the world lose and the world saved from destruction. I don't trust you. Today, the fountain of darkness, the geyser that gives this land form, stands tall at the center of the kingdom. But recently, another fountain has appeared on the horizon. And with it, the balance of light and dark begins to shift. That's... Interesting. Chris, Susie, thank you for listening to my long tale. It wasn't really that long, it was only about three minutes. I deeply believe you two are the heroes of the legends. That, despite whatever enemies you may face, you two have the courage to save the world. Delta Warriors, please, won't you accept your destiny? <laughs> He's gonna be, uh, no. Yep. Maybe some kind of hero or something. You've got the wrong person. But Susie, without you, the, the world will... Hi, Alphys! So, uh, if the world gets destroyed, it's none of my damn business. <clears throat> Might even be kind of fun, honestly. Anyway, Chris, if you want to play pretend with this weirdo, stick around. I'm going to find a way out of here. He's going to be the ex- she's going to be the accidental hero.
What? The heroes are already running away. They didn't even know I was here. My dad's gonna make me son of the month. Who the hell are you? I'm... The bad guy. You clowns want to seal the, our dark fountain, huh? And still picturing you guys as clowns. Save the world from eternal darkness, eh? Eh? Don't try to deny it. We both know you'll go east. It's your only way home. But I, Lancer, won't let you get there. Go there. And I've got a flawless two-step plan to ensure it. Step one, I thrash you. Step two, you lose. Hmm, nice plan, kid. Really? Yeah, actually. Mind if we use it on you instead? Oh shit, this is neat. Yeah, I knew I missed, because I didn't know what I was doing. Halt, clowns! This bike is fueled by victory. Ow. Don't know how I got in that. But, like, that's cool. I love to get thrashed. Just kidding, that's you. Oh, so that was you, clown. That was you, clown. So what are you guys doing after this? Lancer's thinking about the ship. Oh, you can go the genocide route, or you can just... <clears throat> you tell Lancer you can't tell tell the difference between his clothes and his body. He seems flattered. His attack power went down. Nice! Ooh, you make my feelings do wheelies. Sweet wheelies. Fuck. Wait, wait a second. My bike's running out of fuel. Alright, you punkaroos. You had the luck to draw this time, but next time the losers will be you. Haha, <laughs> bye losers. I gotta get home before dinner. You won, you got 0 XP and 44 D dollars. That was so weird. Are you two okay? Um, allow me to introduce myself more properly. I am... Jeez, can you take off the hood? I can barely hear you under there. Um, alright. Hello everyone, I am Ralse. That's... That's Azrael's name as an anagram. Wasn't really that hard to figure out. <laughs> it's so wonderful to meet- it's ever so wonderful to meet you. I'm certain we're going to become great friends and... Best way to leave is east, right? Yes, that's where we'll- got it. See you at school, Chris. Um... I suppose it's just the two of us, then. Chris, I'm a prince, but I, um, currently don't have any subjects. I've been waiting alone here, um, my whole life for you two to arrive, so I'm really happy to meet you. Aw, oh, that's sweet of you. I really hope we can be good friends, Chris. Let's try to find Susie. She must be to the southeast. You can lead the way, Chris. This is definitely Undertale-esque. Ral say, the Lonely Prince is now your ally. The power... The power of fluffy boys shines within you. <laughs> You know, you can hold X to run, right? I don't know. Really? And yet you choose not to? Alright. Who knows how long these leisurely days will last. There's nothing wrong with taking your time, Chris. You can either hold Shift to run or X to run. Oh, hey, it's the training dummy I made. Now it seems like a great chance to prepare for the enemy. 
Would you like to show me? Would you like me to teach you how to fight? See that heart? Yep. That's your soul, the culmination of your being. Within it holds your will, your compassion, and the fate of the world. If it gets hit, you and your hit your friends will lose hit points. If everyone's HP reaches zero, we'll lose the battle. So please take care to avoid the enemy's attack. Ready? Let's try dodging. Great job, Chris. You're a natural. Anyhow, after the enemy attacks, it's our turn. First, I'll treat you how to fight. Though fighting is unnecessary in this world. Yes, it is. There's no harm in the thorough lesson. He's not wrong. Okay, hitting enter is better. Wow, Chris, that was an amazing attack. Have you done this before or something? Okay, let's try defending. Simply, and the enemy's attack will not hurt you. Not only that, it, but you'll also gather TP. Watch the orange bar on the, watch the big orange bar on the left, and I'll explain it next. Great job, Chris. Now that you've gathered TP, how about spending TP on one of my spells? Because you hit the enemy enough, it got tired. Now, if I use my pacify spell on it, it'll fall asleep and we'll win peacefully. Yeah, but you get no experience for that. If you're gonna make an RP. But I do like the idea of an RPG that you can, like... That you can, like, choose to be violent or, like, just not kill at all. Like, it's that good thing for both pacifists and sociopaths. Acting! Through this, even the most violent enemies can be defeated through various acts of kindness. Chris, though it's just a dummy, why not give it a hug? <laughs> oh, that's actually funny. Chris? Um, I don't think, um, this is what you're supposed to be doing, but... You hug the dummy. Aw, oh, that's great, Chris. Each enemy has different acts that satisfy them. When an enemy is satisfied, its name turns yellow. When that happens, you can defeat it by sparing it. If we spare all the enemies we'll meet, we'll never have to fight. Let's spare. No, I want to kill it. Chris spared the dummy. Great job, Chris. That'll be, that'll be the end of the real battle. I'm happy I had the chance to teach you this, Chris. You won. You got zero XP and three dollars. Oh, that was fun. You're a wonderful student, Chris. And, uh, any ca in case you need a refresher... Here, I wrote a manual for you and Susie. Press C to open the menu and use it in your items. You got the manual. I don't like how it, like, tells me that <laughs> after I figured out everything. That's a familiar door. Oh my, the great door is open. No wonder Lancer was able to come through. Chris, once we pass through this door, our adventure will really begin. A journey foretold exactly by the prophecy. But Chris, I believe your choices are important too. This world is full of all kinds of people, Chris. In the end, how we treat them makes all the difference. So let's try our best to get by without fighting. If we can manage to do that, I believe this tale may have a happy ending. Otherwise, I fear that you may not find the result favorable. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that too much to ask? I can handle it. Chris, I knew you were a hero the moment I saw you. Let's try our best, alright? Also, I just realized this. I'm blue right now. Well, so is he. But... That doesn't bode well. But when I was, like, designing the character and everything, it showed me the, um... It asked me what my favorite color was, and when I said blue, it gave me a blue sprite. So I wonder if that design thing does have some implements put into the game, just as, like, a 
small. Oh, hey, you can build your own character, except we're going to delete her. Or him. Because you can spell Chris either way, so I kind of really do like that. You lectured the enemies on the importance of kindness. The enemies became tired. Gone what? Okay. Ruderin is starting to fall asleep. Convinced. You told Rildor in the clip fighting. It was utterly swayed. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Oh! Oh, that's actually a really neat mechanic. Okay, so when it's attacking you and stuff, you can get, like, near... You can get, like, near where the, uh, ammo's, like, attacking at your soul. That's actually really neat, and it fills up your TP bar more. Chris spared Rundin. You won, you got 0 XP and $36. If you're reading this, I guess you're dead. Signed, Lancer. Hi, Lancer! Hey, don't read this sign. It's a work in progress. Signed, Lancer. Ho oh, ho ho! Isn't my... If it isn't my two favorite people. Psych! You guys aren't even in my top five. Lancer, where's Susie? You mean the purple girl? Ho oh, ho ho! You fools, you're too late to stop me. What did you do? Ah ha ha ha! It was so simple. She beat me up, so I ran away. That's a bit anticlimactic. He's not wrong, but I'm curious. Why isn't he attacking? Hey, if you head that way, my troops are th will thrash you. Is that a threat? I prefer to think of it as an invitation. Interesting. What if we go down this way? Mainly because I just wanted to give him the finger. These types of trees don't contain an item that can heal you. Whatever you do, don't check this tree and you see to open the menu. You got it? Signed, Lancer. There are two objects hanging from the tree. Take one? Yes. You got the dark candy. That sounds badass. Yes. One for each member of the party. That's exactly how I'm going to play this. Oh no, you have two Rundins. You spared one Rundin. Or I'll say spared Rundin, but its name wasn't yellow. Face my diamond cutter. Convince! It was utterly sweaty. What the? Oh. Rundin dislikes its boss, but it doesn't care enough to quit. Okay, I need to find a save point. Chris spared Rundin. Hmm. 
Mamma mia! I'm top chef! My latest cake worked me to exhaustion! So I took a little nap, but mamma mamma mia, I was scary noise woke me up. A beast was hunched over the table, eating the cake like an animal. Pretty sure that was <laughs> I spritzed it with water and it ran it hissed and ran off, but my wonderful cake is a uh... Aw oh, Chris, that sounds like Susie. We must be going the right way. Let's try to keep to keep her out of any more trouble. Yeah, good luck with that. I'm gonna look at the cake. The remains of cake are still smoldering. Take a piece. Yes! The broken cake was added to your key items. Come on. You told Rundin to quit fighting? It was un utterly swayed. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Oh shit, I do not like that at all. Kathy smiled a darling smile. Chris spared Rundin. Ralse spelled Happy, but its name wasn't real yellow. Oh, great. You told Hathi its teeth look like knives. It began to think about this. That's actually cute. Hathi smiled a dar darling smile. Chris spared Hathi. You won, got 0 XP and 68 dollars. Or rather, D dollars. There are two objects hanging from the tree. Take one? Yes. You got the dark candy. There's candy hanging from the tree. Take one? Yes. You got the dark candy. Check the clock in order to solve this puzzle. You'll have to hurry. Bite me. Del, thank you. Yay, maze of death. That sounds fun. Behold the maze of death. Get prepare to get lost, clowns. Signed Lancer. Feeling lost yet? You must be utterly helpless among these twists and turns. Your sense of direction won't save you now. Signed, Lanza. You're gonna get up here, dog. Okay, good. Some sort of enemy. Looks like they got clobbered. Huh, I wonder who clobbered them. Oh, this is gonna be beautiful. Sign. Hey, wait, where am I? Help! Somebody help, I'm lost! Signed Lancer. You opened the treasure chest, and inside was a white ribbon. You put the white ribbon in your armors. White ribbon is armor, Chris. It increases defense. Why don't you try wearing it in the equipment menu? I think it'd look great on you. Sure, why not? Equipment. It also apparently upped my cuteness.
Hey, don't look, this sign's private. No, it's just this way. Hi, Lancer. Ho ho, somehow you survived the maze, but don't count your blessings before they hatch. Let's see how you fare against this team. Cross Flatter. You ordered Ralsei to flatter all the enemies. We don't need XP, just encountering your smile is reward enough. Oh, that is adorable! Nice job, dude. Hey, why aren't you guys thrashed? You're totally outnumbered. You made a team purely of support enemies. Their bullet patterns aren't balanced at all. It's like a dinner made out of three glasses of milk. And that's, um, unusual somehow? Why don't we talk about this after the battle? Spared Haffy. Spared Haffy. Great job, we earned zero XP and like four dollars. Sweet, how much did I get? You lost, Lancer, you don't get any. Oh. Can I have some of yours? No! Fine, later losers. So, I thought you were running away. Yeah, I finished. <laughs> This is actually really cute. Ah, oh, why won't you open, you stupid door? Oh great, it's you guys. Susie, we were ever so worried about you. Um, how did you get past those spikes before? Walk through them. But this door... Sucks. Oh, don't worry, Susie. It'll open after we solve the puzzle over there. Nice. Tell me when you finish it. Uh, Susie? We need you to finish it. Sometimes proceeding will take all three of us. Furthermore, only Chris can seal the dark fountain. So if you don't accompany us, you won't make it home. So you're saying I have to stick with you guys? Yep! Fine. Let's just get this over with. Yahoo! Susie's back on the team. Cue the fan art. Susie joined the party. Took you long enough. Susie follows at a distance. Such that no one can tell. She's associated. Okay, I've gotten it. I've got it. There we go. Oh, Chris, I just realized Susie missed the tutorial. Next battle, we should show her how to act. I think she might really enjoy that. No, she won't. She wants to kill. You recall Razzle? Yep. You ordered Susie to flatter the enemy. What? Why the hell would I do that? It attacked us! Let's smash it before it moves. Oh look, Susie, it seems harmless. If you act nice, we might win it without hurting it. Okay, okay. Hey, little guy. I really like the axe in your face. Where'd you get it? Okay, that's cute. Chris, maybe I should talk to her? I don't know how we got zero XP for that, but whatever. <laughs> um, Susie, I suppose you missed what I said earlier. As heroes, we make the world peaceful for some... 
let, from now on, let's try to avoid fighting, okay? Um, what if you just took it easy on them? You weaken an enemy, I can use my pacify spell, which can exa put exhausted people to sp sleep. Yeah, you talking is already doing that. Well, um, just think about it. We might have to warn enemies about her, Chris. Susie, the violent, the violet tormentor. I almost said violent tormentor, which also makes a lot of sense. <laughs> is now your ally. The power of mean girls shines within you. Siege shop. Okay. Dear God, that is horrifying. Seem is pronounced Sham. I like that. That's cute. And this is my little shop. Over the years, I've collected odds and ends. Of course, I've no attachment to any of it, just a hobby of mine. Around here, you learn to find ways to pass the time or go mad like everyone else. Okay, cool. Lightners. Long time ago, the Darkners lived in harmony with the Lightners. They were like gods to us, our protectors, our creators, those who gave us a purpose. Then one day, we were all locked away in this prison, and the Lightners never returned. Embittered, the king took up arms and aims to take revenge upon the Lightners that left us behind. Of course, even among his troops, some still distantly hope the Lightners will return. Kingdom. Historically, this land was ruled by the four kings, from Card Castle to the east. That sounds like a card shop name. But recently, Strange Knight appeared, and three of the kings locked away. The remaining king put him and his strange son into power. This land hasn't seen this much chaos since... <laughs> well, you don't need to know about that. We're legendary. Ha <laughs> ha so you're the heroes who are going to seal our fountain. Good luck, it makes no difference to me. Neither light nor dark can hold a future for a darkner in my condition. See you again, or not. I actually will, because I'll wind up grinding. But first... <clears throat> hmm, let's see who's... The mage will almost always need a better defense. Saving again. Hey, hey kid. You wanna buy a tutorial? It's only 50 dark dollars. No. Ha <laughs> did I say 50? We just went on sale. 20, 20 dark dollars. No. One, only one dollar. Please, please, I need this right now. Yep. R r really? You changed your mind? <laughs> right this way, gentler. Whole goals, one dollar monthly tutorial. Oh, that is clever. Donation hole, if you like our tutorials, please carry money in the hole. Go one dollar. You put a dollar in the hole. The hole became full. We're sorry, we're normally puzzle guys, but... We've been forced to just do tutorials just to make our ends. When the king got power, he fired everyone and replaced all puzzle makers with him. Rooks? Roxel's card. Lord of the puzzles, be careful. I'm TP Master. 
PP only lasts inside a fight. Once you win, it's out of sight. Having extra feels unbearable. No point in saving. It's straight up terrible. The leftover TP turns into extra money at the end of our battle. You mean I should only have been using one square? I knew that was, like, a thing. Keep forgetting about the walk cycle. It's a lone door frame, but for some reason, you can't see through it. It won't let me go through it either, so fuck it. Hi, Lancer. Well, flip my jap flapjacks. The clowns are back in town. Well, bad news. Since you last saw me several minutes ago, I've created brand new team, a brand new team ready to stop you. Not even the purple girl can stop me now. Ho ho ho, are you ready to be... Stop. Just stop talking. <laughs> ho ho ho. What is that? Why are you saying that? Ho ho ho? It's my evil laugh. Scary, right? You sound like baby Santa Claus. <laughs> uh, what do you mean like in a badass way? Shut up. You really think you want to know how to be scary? Well, I... Wrong. Man, wannabe tough guys like you really piss me off. Face it, you wouldn't know scary. If I picked you up and bit your face off. But that's not true. Thank you. Oh, really? Then why don't we prove it? We'll start with the part where your face gets bit off. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, okay, I get it. Thank you, purple girl. What? Thanks. That was kind of you. You teach me how to be scary with an evil laugh. H hey, I wasn't... And now... You're going to be thrashed. <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful! Ugh. I guess that's kind of an improvement. Board of Jigsaw. You and Roselli warned the enemies about Susie. Everyone went on guard. I... I have a rent payment to make. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, that is a, that is actually a really clever pattern. You barely lifted a finger, and friends, I was thinking the same thing. Did I do that to every one of them? I always wanted a friend just like you. Now we're friends. La la la. Why are you attacking me? Friends don't attack friends. Jigsawry is pretending to march. Chris spared Jigsawry. Resolate. We're friends now, la la la. One got zero HP and sixty-nine darkness dollars. <laughs> oh look, Chris, another puzzle. Oh no. Let's read the instructions. Huh? huh? The instructions are vandalized. It says, "Thou fools, thou will never figure it out now." Pruning instructions—that's definitely against the rules. Then, um. It says, P.S. I want to make my own rules. I make my own rules. R.K. 
Well, that explains that. Why don't we just climb over the spiked fence? Um, because then we'd get impaled and die? Cool. I'll work on that and you do the puzzle. Um, okay, try your best, Chris. Okay, I know what it is. Great job, I think you're onto something. Hey Chris, give up whenever you feel like it. It's all good. Wahoo, you did it, Chris. Good, great job. Damn, didn't get to impale myself. Oh well, come on, chumps. Good job, Chris. Various guys appeared. That's a new one. Warning. Here in Rossier, I warned the enemies about Susie. Everyone went on guard. Faced my diamond cutter. I'm just a normal person. Taffy is whispering a lovely spell. Run then. Convince. I told Rundin to quit fighting. It was utterly swayed. Rosalie spelled Rundin. Yes. Long live the guy who pays us. It smells like a soft kiss. Cross flatter. You ordered Rosalie to, fl to flatter all the enemies. We don't need XP, just encountering your smile is reward enough. I'm just a normal person. Oh wow, you're targeting both of them. Ouch. Chris spared Hathi. Brasse spells Ralden. Basically, it's telling me to avoid stepping on the- MOTHERFUCKER! I'm legitimately waiting for it to happen again. Gotta say, I was not expecting that. Men fell asleep. Enemies became tired. Okay. I think at the next uh, save point, I'll save the game.
was trying to time that. <laughs> so you've begun to cross the great board. The halfway point to our castle. Hmm, impressive. So it's a shame. You won't make a step further. Because my guys are about to smash you into blood. Lots of blood. Splooshing blood. Very gross and bad. Hey, purple girl. Was that scarier? Why are you asking me? Because you're really cool at being terrifying. I want to be as scary as you. This is going to accidentally turn into a reverse... Oh. This is actually really cool, though. You want to be like me? Y yeah Well, that's... that's stupid. But, um... The new laugh isn't as awful. And saying you'd turn us into blood is, uh, cool. What the hell is up with the bucket, though? It's to put the blood in. Oh. Yeah, I'm not, uh... Supposed to make a mess. Anyway, thanks for your feedback. I'm really feeling scary. Um, no problem, I guess. <laughs> so are your guys gonna attack us, or...? Oh, yeah. I was so excited, I forgot to bring any guys. But next time, it'll be the end for... Her. Hey, I've just been calling you guys clowns. What does... Does your team have an official name or something? Oh, Chris, we should come up with a name. No. We shouldn't. Then it's this idea. Everyone puts a name in a bucket. Alright, everyone's put in their entries. Blue person, you can choose. Since you look like you don't care. You take the crumpled up piece of paper. You open it. Uh, okay, and your name is... Hmm. I don't think I'm allowed to say this one. It's pronounced the... Squad. <laughs> I'm not... Whoa, I'm not allowed to say tier 2 swear words. Wow. You three's collective dad must be cool. very cool. Uh, perhaps we could consider a different name? No, no, we're keeping this one. I'll say, you don't have to be in our squad. Yeah, how about I be in the squad and you be the bad guy? Here, call up my dad. Tell him he has a new son. One that has to take a shower every time he reads a swear word. Oh, wow. Okay, fine. We can keep the name. I just won't say it. Haha, <laughs> me too. See ya, losers. It's shower time. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave this episode here. That was... Oh my, that's hilarious. I want to say the ass squad since that's literally just three letters. But oh my, this has just been a blast to play. If you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like down below, comment for more. And as always, have a wonderful day. Oh my god, that's a beautiful fucking... Oh my god, that's a beautiful fucking thing.